Hello everyone, this is Grandmaster Vara Kobian and we're going to be doing a lecture today. Lecture is a little bit earlier today and it's going to be Grandmaster's choice. So we'll have two lectures back to back. So don't go anywhere for the next hour and 45 minutes, okay? So I'll be giving you lectures and puzzles. In this game, I want to, sh in this lecture, I want to show you my game against uh, Grandmaster Melikset Kachian. This is played in a national open tournament. In Las Vegas, okay? So I played d4. My opponent played knight f6. c4. g6. Knight c3, Grunfeld. He is known, he is known to be a Grunfeld player. So this came as a no surprise, you know? I was expecting, I was anticipating that he might play the Grunfeld. So I played here. Bishop g5. I like this idea now. I'm trying to put pressure on f6. If opponent captures here, white can get e4 in and then take the pawn on c4 with a very pleasant advantage, okay? So now he goes knight e4, activating the knight and attacking my bishop. So I drop the bishop back here. Knight takes c3, pawn takes c3, bishop g7. So basically here, a block has few options. He can take on c4 or he can play bishop g7. These are the two options, okay? c4, e3, c5. The idea is to try to attack my center, okay? So <laughs> I took here. I'm doubling the double pawns. Knight f3. Knight c6, and now I play queen b3. The point here is I'm trying to exchange the queens. If I can exchange queens, you know, if you take, I can take that with the a pawn, then I have pressure along the a file, okay? So that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. Uh, my opponent goes to queen takes b3. I was happy to see this because after this take, now I can take back and now I have a rook. That is basically in the game as well here. And now my opponent takes. Now my opponent takes. And here is the first test. And I want you to try to make a decision here. How should I try to respond here? How should I try to recapture here? Okay. Now I want to ask you a question here. What do you think? What do you think here you should try to do here? Uh, Because you can you, you want to capture back but but how how you want to capture back I'm gonna get my uh, iPad to see the chat okay guys so think about it how to capture here Now let's see here. You have a choice here, guys. You have a choice. So how to how to uh, respond in this position? Okay. How to respond here as far as capturing it here? Uh, you can take with the C pawn. You can take with the uh, you can take with the C pawn. You can also take with the E pawn. So you have few options here that you can try to do. Uh, I kind of wanted to keep my uh, I wanted to keep my uh, structure together, so I decided to take this way because if I take this way, now I have a weak b3 pawn. I have an isolated pawn. Okay, so he goes here. Now he plays e5, a very aggressive move, and now he's trying to put pressure. This is a very aggressive move, and the idea is to put pressure and try to break the center. Okay. All right, guys, I could see the chat now. So if you have any questions, you can put it, okay? So now there is a break. There is a break here. And if I take now, he's just gonna take back with a knight. I don't see any advantage after this, okay? So 
So if you take, he's just going to take back. So you have to do something better here. You have to do something better here, guys. What can you do? You know, it's, 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 you have to make a decision here. So what would be the right decision here? You know, we can try to go bishop b5 as an alternative, for example. So there are there are some options. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I decided that I should play. Uh, I decided that I should take uh, play d5 here to attack the knight, OK? Now he goes e4, attacking my knight. So d5, e5, and now suddenly c3 pawn is hanging, okay? Now my knight is hanging, and it also he is threatening to play bishop takes c3. So it looks like I might be in some trouble here. Now, all right, guys, I have the, I can see the chat now. So let's see here. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, everybody. And I'm glad you're here. From all over the world, we have students. So let's see here. So what do you think I should do here? My knight is under attack. He's threatening also bishop c3. So the question is, what should I do here? So what are the options here? Well, if I go king d2, he's just going to take this. This and just take. He's just happy. Mm -hmm. Well, if I play a long castle, then again, I think it's not clear. I actually played here. Knight d2. Because now I'm threatening to take on e4. And he played here. Because if he plays here, I actually have the move rook c1. Hitting the bishop. If bishop b2, I go rook c2. Now I'm winning a piece. Because the knight and a bishop are hanging. If he goes anywhere, I take the knight. So now he can take. But this position is very serious for him too. Because the, my dark squares are very strong. I have bishop f6 idea, rook c7, I have bishop b5. I have lots of active pieces. Okay. Now he goes 97. You know, I can I can try to play on bishop f6. And then rook a1 come in. White, white is slightly better. Now he played knight to b4. Because if I take now, he's going to take my rook. So if I take, he's going to play bishop to a1. Yeah, if I take, he's just going to play bishop to a1. And the threat is bishop c3, threat is knight d5, uh, threat is knight c2. Uh, if you play this, then I mean, even this could be a problem. Then you're gonna take on c3, hitting your rook. That's just the first idea, there might be some other issues here as well. Yeah. Knight takes c4, correct. Now you're protecting c3. And now he castle. Because if he goes here, I actually play king d2. If you take... Okay. Yeah, fine, I take. And now this is actually um, a very, very serious 
compensation because my pieces are very very active here my bishops my knight the pawn on d5 so this is uh, probably going to be a nice advantage here for white despite you know despite being down exchange here you know so now it goes bishop d7 knight d6 so that's why my opponent even though he had this opportunity to play knight c2 but uh, he he decided that it's going to be too dangerous now he goes castle Now, what do I do now after he plays Long Castle? What can I do, guys? Now, what to do here? What will be the best option here for white? Castles. Bishop f5. See, I castled because to have the king saved, and now he goes here, attacking my knight. Now he's attacking my knight. Yeah, now bishop, bishops are very strong. They're attacking, and the knight only four is attacking as well. So, the bishops are too strong. You need to try to shut down one of the bishops. Yes, absolutely. Correct, Dylan. That's why we, we, we play long castle so we can support the d file. Bishop b7, I'm not sure. The idea is to try to activate the knight. So I go knight f6. Now we am shutting down this knight, bishop. If he takes, I take back with the bishop. So he goes here. And if I take the knight, then there is a rook c8 check and rook c2 idea. So that's why. King b2. Moving the king here and now stopping all the checks or anything here. Right, it was h6. Idea behind this move is, guys, is to play g5. So if I take, simply play g5, attack the bishop, bishop goes back, bishop f6 check. Now king has to go a2. Now you have this one. Threatening rook c2 ideas. So now he wants to play g5 here. Can we do something, guys? Can we do something to prevent that? Okay, let me look at the chat here. Yes, the idea is f4. Absolutely. That's the right way to stop him from playing g5. Correct. Now he goes knight c2. Now he's trying to go some knight e3 ideas. Okay. Now, 
h3. The point of h3 is to try to play g4 and attack the bishop. Rook okay, d8. G4. Okay, so simply attacking the lights for bishop. If four I can take, if he takes on f6, I have bishop f6 check. So now he's, you know, he's forced to do some things. I mean, if he goes back to, you know, if he goes back to c8, he loses this. So basically, the knight is, you know, knight is trapped. I think he probably should have done this. And I attack, takes, and just play this position. But this is probably also very bad because uh, white is up a pawn, I'm up a pawn, and plus the knight on f6 is super annoying. g4 is still coming up. Rook a, yeah, I mean, I still have g4, I still have rook a7. <coughs> Putting pressure. Take. Actually, rook a d8, g4, knight d3, rook a d8, rook e1, attacking the knight, bishop c4. Now we, here we are in this endgame. I'm up a pawn, but my opponent has two bishops, and uh, uh, I have to play precisely to convert this, okay? So first things first here. What to do? It's important when you get the winning position, you just uh, take a little break and just take your time when you already have a really good position, okay? Yeah, you just, you just get back. You need to try to understand what is he trying to do. My idea is to try to, you know, improve my pieces and push, okay? And try to promote those pawns. Rook d1 first, protecting my pawn. Thank you guys, thank you. I'm glad you've been watching the YouTube videos. Now he plays b5. Because now he's gonna have some before ideas, so I didn't want to allow that. So I fix him now. Now my king position is very safe. So he plays a5. Positionally, he's lost. I'm just gonna go here, here. I mean, if he plays, uh, you know, if he plays here, I can even just go here. Attack. Here I have bishop f6. Winning. I go here, you can just, just f5, f6. Uh, now I played a5, trying to complicate the position of this move. I took. Now he plays b4. Take back. Now we have three pawns. Now he goes here, trying to win a piece. But that simply can be prevented, right, guys? That simply can can be prevented here, guys. How? What can you do, guys? We need to protect. We need to protect. Yes. So here. Now he takes. He takes the pawn, and now we just bring the rook back. Our pawns are very strong once they start rolling. Okay. Now he goes back here.
and now what is the idea guys finishing idea here what is it Which piece we should try to improve here? Bishop f2, because I want to put that bishop to c5. Okay. Well, he sacrificed because he was already down a pawn and he couldn't see enough contraplay. That's why he did that. Now he goes here. King a3. This way I'm avoiding all the tactics. Take, take. He cannot take because I have bishop d4 pin. Now rook a7, attacking the bishop. If take, I will take the bishop, so bishop b5. Bishop c5. I push. Now attacking the bishop. And now d7 is coming up. And now after d7, there are too many threats. One, two. Now I play here. He resigned because if it takes, I take. Now he takes. Now we simply play rook to d8, giving check. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He was. He was actually. Now I take. And now this is. I just continue pushing accurately this pawn into a quit. Yeah, this was a good good game, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was definitely a good game, guys. Um, there was a good question. It says, why did he sacrifice the two pawns? Well, if he doesn't sacrifice anything, how can he get any contra play here? Because I'm up a pawn and I have a better position. Yeah, because if you go here and I have this, I'm attacking the queen. Back I have f5. Now threatening f6. Yeah, now we just threatening to play f6 and blockade the bishop. So that's that's why he tried to look will go for a counter play. That's what he was trying to do. He was trying to look for a counter play, guys. Okay. That's why he sacrificed. Yeah, now the knight is very strong and the critical moment here, a5. Why did you play a5? It's, a5 is probably not a very good move. But on the other hand, the position is very difficult. My plan is very simple. Rook e1, rook e7. Uh, trade some more pieces and should be a comfortable win. The knight on f6 is, is a very, very annoying piece. It's a very strong piece. Okay. Now take. And here, yeah, I just uh, had to be accurate. Had to have this move ready. Take. Now everything is lined up. And All right, guys, this is the first position. It's block to play and win. Block to play and win, guys. What can you do here? Think about it. Block to play and win. Now what to do guys? Mm -hmm. Black to play and you need to find a winning continuation. Or 
and you are down two pawns okay you are down two pawns Um, wait, bishop g4 now? No, bishop g4 now. Yeah, you have to really calculate this, okay? So what do we do here? Okay, yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine, see? You can, you know, you'll get the next one, okay? So what is the idea here? What block can really try to do here? Do you see ways block can try to go for a win here? So what is the idea here? Hello, hello, many. Hello, many MP. How you doing? Hello. the plan here we're trying to get a queen on h3 and of course we're trying to something like this but it's not easy to do it here it's not easy to do it guys Now, if you play here, queen e6, it looks like it's just gonna be perfect. You go here, and if he goes here, you just take. If he takes, you just take the, here. And if he takes back with the queen, if he takes back with the queen, what are we gonna do? Yep. Bishop c6, correct, correct, Armen. Mm -hmm. Bishop c6, and now you're attacking the queen and rook, and winning, winning the material. Okay. Yeah. So that's why. But there is a problem, guys. When you play queen e6, White has an excellent defense here. Okay. What is the idea he has though? Uh, 
And now the idea is, what is white going to do here? Is he just gonna just resign? Is white gonna resign or is he gonna try to come up with some kind of resource? Queen takes f8, correct. Queen takes f8, that's the plan. Now he takes check. Yeah, now I just check. And at the end of this, it's just gonna be two extra pounds for white. So white will be, uh, you know, dominating with good winning chances here so it's still you know you can't be completely uh, relaxed here there there are some threats for white as well in this position okay Now what you can do first, you have to do something first and then your queen e6 idea is going to work. So we just take and it takes with the queen we have bishop c6 attacking the queen and picking up the pawn. And if he takes back with this, now, now what you gonna do? You do this because you wanna eliminate uh, this queen f8, and when we give a check, the bishop on b5 guarding this e8 square. And now a quiet move, yes. He rolls, yeah. Just go here, attacking the rook. And attacking the pawn. All right. So, yeah, in this position, you just, uh, here. There's also this idea, look. Here, here, and a spectacular check. If he takes rook h6 mate, if he doesn't want to take, the mate all right so that's the position here guys and the winning move here is rook takes b5 okay all right let me set up some more puzzles for you here guys This one is also very interesting. It's white to play and win. White to play and win. Well, there's a two pawn advantage for black, two bishops. What's the idea here? What white can really try to do here to organize a very, very strong attack here? I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes, okay?
Now, what's the idea here? Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, this was a nice idea. Knight g5, threatening queen h7. If it takes, you simply go queen g6, and you have bishop e4, and threatening bishop h7, mate. The question is, when if, if he goes here, what do you do? Yeah, just the idea is to try to complicate, complicate the matters. Okay. Now we have to see. First of all, are we going to take or how are we going to do it? Now we have to take. We have to take here. And what's the best way to recapture so we still have our threats? Takes. That's one idea. Okay, it takes. Now he takes. It's the same idea, it's just except the e pawn is gone, okay? Yeah, you just go here. And you're gonna go bishop e4 next, okay? And you go bishop e4 next. Okay, perfect guys. So again, when opponent's piece is undeveloped, you can try to go for a direct attack like this, okay? All right, I'm gonna set up one more position for you. Okay. With no pawns on the board, this will be a. If with no pawns on the board, guys, this should be a draw. If 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 he cannot do anything right away with no pawns on the board, this should be a draw. Uh, but again, it's a very concrete position. Okay. So think. So I need you to calculate the whole concept here, okay? When you go for this, I want you to calculate the whole concept, okay? Uh, this is, I think, uh, stockfish. Right now I turn it off, but it's a stockfish. Stockfish, stockfish 11.
we do here? How are we gonna do it, guys? Well, you need to give me the whole line. So far, I'm seeing only one move. You're just saying bishop g2 and it wins. But need to put the whole line here, guys. Bishop g2. Uh, blocks. Okay. What is the best defense? There are two best defenses here for block. What are the best defenses here? Huh? What are the best defenses here? So now he can play. If he goes here, what is the solution, guys? If he goes here now, what's the mate here, guys? Show me the mate in two. Yes. So we go here. Mate. Perfect. If he goes here now, what are you going to do? If he goes to f7, what's the difference now? How can we try to go for a win? Now we have to go rook h3, correct. Like this. All right, so Black has two more defenses here, guys. One is Rook F8 and one is Rook F8. So he's gonna go here first, Rook F8. Now what do you do? If he goes to F8, what are we gonna do now? Well, no, not rook h3 now. You need to cut him off. Now, yeah, bishop c3 is not a success. He has rook, rook f1 check. Now, what is the idea here? You have to make the correct move to actually put him into a succession. here and now he's in trouble because if you most check you go check and you take the rook okay can't do anything all right and now so basically that puts him in a succession what if he goes this direction okay now if he goes there now what are you gonna do Rook g3, correct. Now he goes here. Yeah, check. He goes here. Now he wants to go rook a6 check. So now we're going to play. Which move we're going to play to put him into the sook? Perfect. Now, if he checks, I'm just going to go rook g1 check, okay? Here, I go here, check, and pick up the rook, 
Okay. Yeah, again, normally, guys, bishop and rook versus rook is a theoretical draw. But in this particular position, it's not so simple because, you know, uh, it's losing because the king and a rook are placed on the wrong squares. And that's why it's a problem, okay? So you have to remember these positions. These are, these are very, very important positions, okay? Okay, guys, we're going to take a short break. Don't go anywhere. And then we're going to start the next class, which is called the Games of the Week. Okay, so next class will be Games of the Week here. So give me about five minute break and then I'll be back here. Stay tuned, okay? Stay tuned, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, all right guys, I am back and we're gonna start our second lecture, okay? And in this lecture, we're gonna do some practical positions, okay? I'll be setting up some practical positions by grandmasters. I'll be asking you to find the continuations, okay? All right, so this is the first position for you.
All right, guys. All right, guys, this is the practical position. This is a game of uh, practical position, the game of um, uh, Caruana versus Ivanchuk, okay? Caruana versus Ivanchuk, guys. So yeah, as long as you work hard, you, you know, you will be able to, you know, you might be able to become a grandmaster. You just have to work hard, okay? Layu, Layu, remember that. All right, guys, white to play, white to play, and you need to find the right continuation here, okay? So what do we do here? So what is the right way to continue here, guys? Okay? Hello, hello, everybody, hello, greetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is a position is a Fabiano Caruana. Okay. All right, guys, white to play, what to do? So white to play, what are we gonna do here, guys? Perfect, perfect guys. So I need you to play like Fabiano Caruana here. I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes to think and I wanna see you putting the moves in the chat here so we can see the answer, okay? Again, Caruana didn't play the most effective way. Caruana played bishop here, here, bishop d7, and uh, he played here actually. If opponent takes, he was hoping to do this. Now b7 is hanging and something like this and try to give mate to his opponent, you know, but unfortunately after rook d7 uh, there, is, there is a queen c8 move. And here would have been some advantage still for Caruana, but he played uh, knight f7. Knight d7, knight h6, king h7, and yeah, and it uh, ended in a draw here. Queen h5, knight f6. If you move back, you can just take, so I guess you have to play check here, check here, okay. And uh, it's just a draw. There's no mate, but sorry, there's no mate because I have this. Okay, but you have a draw in this position, and there's no time to lift a rook because your rook is misplaced here, misplaced here. All right, so so h3 is not a move. H3 allows uh, black to play bishop to b7. Okay. What do you think? What do you think he should do here? What do you think Caruana should have done here? It's a surprising move, but a very strong one. Okay. Because White has such a nice lead in development with those rooks, you know. I mean, this this is this is very strong. This is very strong, and this is a Vacan Z tournament 2012. 2012 Vacan Z tournament. So, so far I'm not seeing the moves guys, so far I'm not seeing the move yet. It's a something very concrete, very uh, a drastic idea, okay? 
So this is something very concrete, very drastic you have to play. Yeah, no, something fast, something fast you have to play here, okay? Yeah, no, I still don't see it yet. This, this is definitely a surprising idea. I'm not surprised that Caruana didn't play this move because he doesn't look like he's going to be doing that much. We have to start an attack right away. Okay. What's the best way to start the attack here, guys? What is the best way to start the attack? What would be the best way to start the attack? Yes, G4 correct. It's a very surprising move, a very good one. Now he goes here, bishop here. When you say A, you say B, right? Which word? I was here, 95. Now I play G5. White is just winning. Takes, pawn takes actually. And then queen H5. So he goes here. Rook, sorry, rook A, D8. to do rook We need to open up the position. Take. Check. And here. Now threatening to take on h6. And black cannot defend h6 pawn. There are more moves needs to be played, but the, the, the whole point is you don't have a good way to defend against h6. And if you go here, if you go here, this bishop can join in action as well. Also, this is a good move to take on h6. And if he goes here, And now here, 
including this guy. Now if it was here, we check. And now you have this check, winning the queen. Okay, but I mean to find a move g4 is, it's it's not an easy move to find. But again, if the pawn is on h6, this is a target. So you want to play g4, h4, and g5 to attack. Okay, because h6 is a target. So you can use this moment to attack. Okay, attack the weakest square. Okay, we're gonna do one more, guys. guys it's uh, white to play and you need to figure out the way to win this game and this is a game Sergei Karyakin playing white against Grandmaster uh, Alexeyev Alexeyev so you have to figure out a way to break through here okay so let's let's think about this a little bit White to play and win. Calculate, calculate, guys. You have to calculate. You can't just throw a bishop h7 out there and expect it's going to work. You have to show precise calculation, okay? You have to show precise calculation here. First move is very important, you know, because your knight is under attack, and that could that could be an issue. The knight is under attack at the moment. Well, what can be done? I see some ideas okay you guys have some ideas so the the first move is actually h6 that's correct the, the reason is if he takes we're just gonna be first check 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 the mate okay so we're gonna be first to give the mate okay so now after h6 though, he's got a couple of options. He can play g6 or queen e5. If he plays g6, first of all, if he play g6 now, what are you gonna what are you gonna do?
Now it's a very, very special move because he wants to play queen takes pawn. Okay. He wants to play queen takes pawn. Now we have to we have to play this correctly, okay? If we play bishop c4, the problem is he's gonna go bishop c4. And then his queen e5 thread is still remaining to eliminate uh, to eliminate my pawn and defend against queen f6 like this. He has this. Defending against the trap. Yeah. So we wanna do something that we'll be able to attack ninety four he takes so you have to figure out a way that you can mate him here it's a double exclamation mark here that you're going to do, okay? It's a double exclamation mark here, guys. A very, very nice tactic, okay? Yes, Adil McDonald. Yes, Adil knight d5. The point is, if he takes with the bishop, he go queen f6 and queen g7 mate. He no longer has queen e5. Okay, that's one. And the second idea, if he takes back with the queen, then what can we do here? What can we insert here, guys? What can we insert so we have the mating idea? If he takes back with the queen, what can we do? takes if it takes just here and it's mate and it takes back with the queen yeah he's trying to take another pawn on a2 so i would just play b3 then he has to go back and then queen f6 Yeah, you have to play b3 because he goes back and now to queen f6. I mean, and the, uh, the only way to stop the threat is going to be to play queen takes e5. Okay? Yeah, he has queen takes e5. That's why. So he has, he has this idea, but okay, this is just lost. All right. Okay, guys, so that's one. So h6, g6. We are winning because of this fantastic move, okay? But what about this? H6, G6. What about this idea of... Now 
what to do here. Now what can we do? Yeah, so we start with this, check, he takes back, now what, what are we doing here, bishop h7 check, King h7, take. Now you go here. Threatening queen h6, check. Queen h8. Rook c8. Now the idea is. Now black has to go here guys and the black goes here. What is the correct move? There are many moves guys, there are many many moves, but what is the best move? What is the most precise move here you're going to do? Yeah, there are many many options here, but which one would be the best? Queen f6, I like that, yes. Queen f6, threatening mate, mate h8. So he has to do something and take. Take back, back in the rook. Rook has to move, and now in the rook moves, mate in two. In the rook moves, we have a mate in two, okay? Check. And a mate. And a mate. That's the idea, okay? All right. Very good guys, excellent. So that's the complete solution for this one. So again, it's a very tricky moment because you're under attack as well. And it, it's very it, it's very tempting to uh, do something like knight e4. But if you do knight e4 then different game. Okay guys, I'm gonna set up the next position for you. And I gotta get my charger. Uh, okay. This is the uh, this is the black pieces, 
and block is to play and win. Bishop C1. Okay, Bishop C1. Uh, actually, it's a coin. All right, guys, it's uh, it's Kramnik is white, and his opponent is Ivanchuk. Okay. Ivanchuk is black, Kramnik is white. Black to play and proceed, okay? Black to play and proceed. So what is the first move here for black? Now there is a nice lead in development here. So the question is, could this lead that be transposed to something more, something more significant, okay? So think for a couple of minutes, guys. Think for a couple of minutes, and then you can say your answer. Get my charger. Uh. Now, what do we do here, guys? How do we try to win this position? Black to move. It's black to move, right? Yeah. Kramnik had taken too many chances, and now Ivan Chuk is going to try to take advantage of it, okay? Too many chances. Now, what to do? If you go here, guys, white has this. 
Now I'm gonna take queen b7. If you go here, yeah, I mean. I mean, you know, I mean, there are a lot of pawns here, you know, there's three pawns for a piece here. So it's not so simple here, this position, okay? Not so simple. So that's why we don't want to play rook e8, okay? So what did Ivanchuk? What did Ivanchuk play here? What did Ivanchuk do in this position? Yeah. So what Kramnik? Uh, what what Ivanchuk tried to do? What Ivanchuk tried to do in this position, guys, is the idea is to try to start the attack, okay? So he didn't want to play something like g6, so he immediately went for f4. Trying to open up the position. If takes, takes and open up and enter with tactics. So his opponent plays g3, g4. And now what to do now with this knight? This knight is trapped, okay? So he clearly had an idea when he played this move. He didn't just play this out of nowhere, right? What is the move here? Can you play like Ivanchuk? Yes. Knight g3, correct? Now, if you take, he's just gonna take. Attack is very, very strong. Okay? Attack is very strong. Now he plays b4. The point is to try to deflect. Try to deflect the bishop. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we going to do after b4? No, 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 not, not bishop f2. You need to concentrate on trying to trap this queen. And now you go back here. Yeah, now uh, after rook a8, he goes knight d5. Knight d2 check. If bishop takes, just take back like this. Knight d2 check. King f1. Bishop takes. Knight d6. And now black uh, b6, 
the black is just winning here but play the bad move knight c3 knight c3 is a mistake the winning move here is knight d4 goes here you take here yeah and eventually you know also you take back the pawn on g4 so eventually this will be sorted out for advantage for black okay so if we go back to the original position so basically you have this position where it's it, it's hard because uh, white is also very solid so your attack is very very sudden okay hello boris trostman hello hello zdrasvui boris mm -hmm. and now f4 sacrificing material to go for the win all right very good guys and now we're gonna do the last one okay the last position for today okay and i'll be back again next thursday so make sure you check out also the sunday classes as well but definitely next thursday we'll have another class like this okay all right all right let's see here Remove the queen. White to play and win. All right, this is white to play and win. to play and win this is a game of Aberbach okay Aberbach against Aronin in 1963 in Moscow so let's see if you can find it okay think guys what to do here how to proceed here to attack how to proceed in this position here guys think for a second okay think for a second to see if you can find the correct continuation here the position is still protected position is you know pieces are protecting each other so you have to do something okay
All right, take your time, guys, and find the solution here, okay? Find the correct solution here, guys. You have to figure out what is the defense, which piece is the defense, and how are you going to try to get rid of that defense? You really want to sacrifice only six, but you can't right now successfully because it's protected. Okay. All right, so we need a deflection. Unfortunately, C4, it's not a deflection because C4, he will play this, and then it's pinning, okay? So unfortunately, C4 is not a, de a good deflection, okay? We need to make sure that bishop moves. Mm -hmm. Now I'm seeing it, bishop C6, correct, yes. Now he has to take because otherwise we take bishop takes d5. Okay, so he has to take. Now position has been weakened. Yeah, if he doesn't take, we just take on d5 and rook e7. So, for example, yeah, so this. Let's say he tries to go here. We just take, take, rook e7. So he has to take. Once he takes, now we can take only six. But with what? What are we going to take with only six? A rook? No, I don't think you want to take the rook. I don't take it this guy. Knight takes. Check. Can't go up. Can't go anywhere. So it has to go here. And now we gotta take on d6. We gotta take on d6, but how? How are we gonna take, guys? With which piece? With which piece we're gonna take on d6 now? Rick dd6 yes now you're threatening queen f8 and i mean there's so many threats you have so he can't do anything okay but to sacrifice back take take king c7 but the problem now we have too many pawns okay the problem now we have too many pawns now so after king c7 he went yeah because really he cannot defend now queen f8 rook c6 so he goes, now we go rook d2. Rook a8. b3. Check. Took another pawn, check. Now he goes here because if he takes with the bishop, he takes the rook. Take with the rook, he takes the bishop. King is actually well placed here. And same idea, push the a pawn. And now 
nice nice tactic here nice tactic you guys have here to win some material It's a tactical idea here. Yes, a6 correct. Now, if he takes with the king, you just take on c7. If he takes with this, you have this trick. Okay, a6. Now he played here. And now we want to force him to take. Yeah, the rook is misplaced, I agree. Now we gotta get the queen in, okay? So how are we gonna do that here? No, I mean a7 he can play knight check and take back. Mm -hmm. He can start. Check. If he takes... Yeah, he doesn't. He has to take. He doesn't have that much choice now. Or he can go here. Now check. He has to take anyway. And then you want to win the rook. Because if he consolidates, he, he will probably fight. But now he goes here, and now. And if he goes there now, what's the winning move? Yeah, absolutely. And now you threaten to take this guy and you threaten to take the rook and the game is over, okay? So this is the game of Averbach against Aronin from 1963 USSR Moscow Championship. So once again, guys, uh, this was just a very nice technique at the end, okay? But most important thing here is you, you have a target, you wanna sacrifice only six, okay? But you have to do it that way so you can break through, okay? You have to do it that way so you can break through. That's why you want to try to play the move bishop c6, okay? Because bishop c6 will make a move, will make the bishop move, because if he does anything else, you just take. So he has to take. Aronin, yeah, 1963. There was a grandmaster named Aronin. Mm -hmm. oh, very strong player. Now we take, take, take. And not this way. If you do it this way, you're allowing to defend like this. Okay? You don't want that. You want to go this way. Because now you're attacking the bishop and you're attacking on f8. And that's why he cannot do anything. Now pressure on c6. And there is a pressure now as well on... Uh, there's a pressure now as well on uh, f8. So he cannot do anything, guys. And... Uh, so his best option is this, but this is a pretty, pretty loss because basically if block it, maybe another pawn on b7 or something, maybe you'd have, but you know, you have three pawns basically. Three pawns is going to be quite a lot, so he's not going to be able to defend this position, okay? Slowly but surely, as you can see with b3, b3 king b2, white improves the position and goes for a win. All right. Thank you everybody for watching these two lectures. And I will be back on Sunday for some more classes and next, next week as well. So looking forward to seeing you all soon. And again, thank you very much, everybody, for watching, okay? Thank you, guys. Have a good evening.